I am pained. <laughs> Hello? Can you hear us? Are we live? I'm looking at my phone. <gasps> Look, it's us! <laughs> Hello, everybody. <sighs> we need our usual old timey wimey like music as our background. Do we? <laughs> yes. Like ragtime I mean, on the I find piano. Old timey, old timey music really creepy for some reason. It can't. Which, be I mean, because. I was going to say it would be appropriate for the season. True. But um, it would also get annoying, I feel. Because it can get kind of tinny. The old timey. Unless we do I... something like uh, like Ramin does for... No. <laughs> For uh, what Ramin does for Westworld, where he takes like modern music, but he like old schools it, like mm -hmm. westernizes it, like that would be cool. But yeah. we need to get, we need to call Ramin. Ramin. <laughs> I just want old it's timey saloon ringing. music playing in the background. That's all I want. That's what I mean. Time. R Ramin can do it. <laughs> you just need to call him. <laughs> like some entertainer business. So it sounds like you know the ice cream truck is coming. Man, you want you want a really annoying music, didn't you? That's what, yes. <laughs> you just want to annoy everybody. That's the point. <laughs> How? What is the fastest way to get people to stop watching? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's my aesthetic right now. I mean, I, I feel you. You know. Oh my god, stop! Can we tell Mercury is in Gatorade right now? <laughs> it's Uranus. the season of Gatorade. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We're starting off with a bang, guys. A bang. Motherfucking bang. All right. And again, y'all missed the 15 minute long conversation pre show of a show, <laughs> all in on itself. I feel we're, like our pre-show, uh, if we ever make a Patreon, that's what would be the exclusive content in our Patreon. Yes. Our pre-show. I feel I feel like there would be, well, I feel like there would need to be, like, an NDA signed. Oh, like, you're not, al you're not allowed to ever talk about anything that happens in Patreon, because everything no. that happens in Patreon stays in Patreon. At least pre-show. <laughs> At least, Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. It's, we're happens, not ready for public show. consumption during our pre show. <laughs> I mean, I'll say it, whatever, but yeah, some people may be a little sensitive to, to it. We're not offending anyone. No. But we're just you know, telling we... some truths out there that some people refuse to acknowledge or. We just, <laughs> we just talk shit like of them. the elite. Okay? We just talk <laughs> shit of the elite. That's what we do. Yeah, I mean all these all these powerful all these powerful mofo's that are like running the world and stirring up <laughs> shit. You know, we just want to take all of them down. <laughs> if we if we had the power, you know, if I would do it tomorrow. I, <laughs> just clean house, you know. I, I don't would mean, gladly like... <laughs> self sacrifice if it actually did something. <laughs> It's a clean house, but what else? Agree. Here we are. Monday. Um... <laughs> Hi, Dave. <laughs> yeah, the rules the rules to Patreon are just like the NC Fight Club. Exactly. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, if y'all can hear some of the conversations we have, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you would grasp your pearls. <laughs> Maybe. Uh... I feel like most, most of y'all would enjoy it, but you know. <laughs> Our friends would probably free. enjoy it. The rest <laughs> the rest of the Twitch verse I'm a little concerned about, but I also don't care. If you the rest of the Twitch verse may need an a very rude awakening cuz <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think well, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> where where are the slashes behind me? Um, they're hiding in the fireplace behind the uh, behind my little dresser over here. I don't know. Mr. Potato Head looks pretty menacing. I mean, Mr. Potato Head has seen things. <laughs> he's lived a really, Mr. Potato really tough plotting. life. Yeah. He's he's plotting something. He's been plotting something probably. I mean, yeah. He's he's witnessed a lot. He lost a tooth, you know. It's it's Yeah, I was going to say it's been it's been, it's been he's been through some things. <laughs> Yes. And, you know, like, this hockey stick can be used as a weapon. Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> he already knows that. He's wearing <laughs> skates. Like, who in their right mind thought it would be a smart idea to strap steak knives to your feet and throw yourself on ice? That's what, Men. basically. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> Ryan said Mr. Potato Head that. is hiding a, a, a prison shank. I mean, 100% accurate. <laughs> Welcome, one Welcome. and all. <laughs> I mean, he has his, his compartment to hold things. Wow, that sounds really, really bad when you say it out loud. <laughs> his butt pocket. <laughs> Anyhow, well, thanks, yep. thanks, Dave and Ryan for for sticking out this preamble. I mean, you started a, us off on a tangent, so that's starting off strong. But as we say, greetings, curious crowd, and welcome to another Curious Bites, where we discuss what's going on behind the scenes with us, share our weekly discoveries and distractions, answer some curious cues, and more. Today is. Who the fuck knows? Uh, uh, Monday, September 19th. I thought it was Thursday. Do we stream on Thursdays? No. Why did I think it was Thursday? I don't know. I mean, we used to stream don't know on anymore. Thursdays. We used to. We uh, might do fucking, occasional streams on Thursdays still. So It's Thursdays. just Monday, and I thought four days happened today. What is up with that? Like... I, Welcome to Gatorade, the Gatorade. <laughs> All right, so if you didn't know, I'm Ronnie. I'm exhausted. <laughs> and I'm joined by the beautimous Jams. Hello, I'm Yams. <laughs> Yams. She's got her boys with her. Yes. Special boys. seasoning on the Yams. And... Oh. Uh... <laughs> And then there's Rage. Hi. Special oh my goodness. The ahead. derailing. <laughs> the absolute derailment of this stream. Just, Every I'm stream. I'm feeling extra random today. So it's going to be an amazing stream. So I can already tell. Um, the Curious Corner. What the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> Considering Ronnie... Corner? Ronnie thinks it's Thursday. Um, let's see. Yeah. It's been two weeks, and <laughs> <laughs> we traveled um, forward in time. Yes. Yes. So we had the lovely Bianca on on Saturday to discuss uh, costume inspiration. So um, if you missed it, make sure you catch that on our YouTube. Very fun conversation between myself, Yams, and um, <laughs> Bianca, <laughs> and um, we uh, discuss. What did we discuss? We discussed. Uh, Eddie, we discussed uh, Sally and a bunch of other things. Oh, She Hulk. Who else? Mm -hmm. What was the other one? Your other um, one. Um, my other one was Rosie the Riveter. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then so we... we had Nadja and right. the Harfoots. There we go. Yeah. So quite a few uh, costume ideas. We try to keep it kind of simple so everyone can uh, get inspired, but also costume responsibly. Plus times are tough. You don't want to overspend on said costume. Or if you do invest in pieces, you want to invest in pieces that you can reuse in your regular day to day. So that was the main idea. So you can catch that conversation on our YouTube. Uh, what else? What, what else happened? Did anything else happen? I don't think there's anything else. <laughs> 
I'm trying to think. Oh, we've officially upgraded our plugins. Hopefully everything still works. We're still sorting out some of the glitches and the bugs, but I think for the most part, our commands are somewhat working. Oh, nice. Maybe? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so okay. once I get the cobwebs all dusted off, um, we can start implementing some new commands and new functionality. Dude, hopefully. those those are Halloween yeah. decorations now. What is the cobwebs? <laughs> the cobwebs? Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's like what's happening? You got you gotta <laughs> leave those up. <laughs> we should leave those up. Also, our ghost still haunts our channel like all year round. So if you ever see the ghosty, let us know because haunted. Does your flip table need an exclamation point on it? Yes. It's a command. So, yeah. Table flip flip table, I think they both work. Also, command. I now have a physical representation of my table flip because I have a there table to actually <laughs> flip now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to throw it and go, ah! <laughs> Uh oh, I lost my table already. Yeah, go? don't break the actual thing, please. <laughs> it's alive. Um, it's a table. It's a legitimate table. Besides that, for the curious corner, I think I I got ridiculously busy and I wasn't able to do the newsletter this past weekend. So this week's newsletter will be doubled up with uh, this week's curious bites and last week's curious bites. So if you missed them, they will be in the newsletter this weekend, unless something crazy happens and I can't do them but uh hopefully double the fun I missed it did the Scotland thing work yes did it yes it did oh I didn't see it (laughs) cool cool um okay I need to put something for yams I need to have like a I need a I need I need yams to like have some sort of like dancing you need a yam in a jar (laughs) oh yeah a jarred yam (laughs) <laughs> so <laughs> we need someone with gifting skills to do that for us. <laughs> just a really creepy uh, yam okay, so... that just like is dancing inside of a jar. Like, yeah, like like a zombie yam. Yeah, a oh, zombie yam. like the one from Darkwing Duck. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember zombie the zombie yam in Darkwing? <laughs> oh, oh, was it a vampire potato? potato? Zombie potato. Did I miss Was something in Dark? I, I can't remember if they were zombies or vampires, but it there were some kind of monster produce. <laughs> I'm pretty monster sure it was a potato. <laughs> I don't know sure it was. Someone else has to remember this shit. It can't just be us. We're not imagining a monster potato from Darkwing Duck. Come on. Mandela effect. <laughs> It's this is now uh, just a collective hallucination. It's the Gatorade. <laughs> it's it's the it Gatorade. It was Night of the Living Spud. Yeah, there you go. It was a vampire potato. Mm-hmm. It was created by a vampire uh, potato. Bushroot. Why why can I remember this? And I can't remember what it is. Why? Explain it to me. <laughs> it's so unfair. <laughs> anyway. Moving on to what the duck, which is appropriate. Um, <laughs> Rach, you included something specific in the what the duck. So do you want to intro it and then I'll I'll jump off of it? Yeah, I mean, typically when we do our what the duck, we're kind of going, ugh. But this is actually a really uplifting what the duck. And I'm really happy that, well, I'm not glad that they had to make the statement in the first place, but I am glad that there is solidarity in the cast and crew to make this statement. Um, I'm seeing a lot of casts and crews kind of gathering together to show their support for their um, fellow castmates of color um, and the fans of color of their shows, and I just thought it was a very sweet message that they sent out. Um, with respect to the absolute heinousness that is racism and fandom. Um, 
I did want. I got a little choked up reading it when they said the the last line there. Um, and I'm going to quote it directly. They said, um, "Addressing the fans, showing support. You are valid. You are loved, and you belong, especially to the fans of of color." So I just thought it was a very sweet message, um, and kind of appropriate message considering that this is a fantasy land, guys. I don't know why people are so hung up about the accuracy of fantastical fictional creatures. It's a, it's still a solid duck because as great as the intent is, don't click on the comments. I made the mistake of looking at the comments and the amount of people doubling down is I don't even know. I can't even blame the Gatorade on that. <laughs> it's just, it's just I, I just find it fascinating just the the audacity, the confidence in just being an asshole and being okay with being an asshole. So feeding off of that and just generally speaking, I came across an interesting idea today um on tiktok um and it appropriately just kind of came up um i say appropriately they're probably listening but whatever um and the main idea revolved around sometimes we are other people's karma sometimes we as individuals are other people's karma and consequence so if you see bad behavior and it is within your bandwidth to call out said bad behavior. That is part of the karma and consequence that people who are just adamant on misbehaving and being complete dicks and assholes um, may need in order to get a reality check. Whether it happens multiple times or they need to have they need it to happen multiple times, just keep doing it. If it's within your bandwidth, of course, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you setting boundaries for yourself and self-protecting. And a lot of times silence can be just as loud as actually having a firm word, depending on the situation. Social media, unfortunately, requires a lot of loudness because you don't have direct contact with said people. But however, um, I, I like the general idea of sometimes we are the karma that a lot of often you hear people saying well you know sometime they'll get bitten in the ass or kicked in the ass by life or whatever sometimes we're the ones that are end up being people's karma so that's it's an interesting thought so yeah if you get a stirring and you want to say something say it yeah i also think it's really it important out. in terms of allyship that the cast of color and the fans of color aren't the only voices that are being heard there has to be allyship as well because you know you have the platform you have the ability to to make significant change yep not to say that it's fair because of the the way things are but you know if you do have a platform it's really it's really important to use it. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> also, the idea of gatekeeping, we've talked about quite a bit um, during our What the Ducks in the past. And if anything, gatekeep out all the bigots and racists and homophobes. I feel like that's what we need to be gatekeeping. They don't, they don't deserve phantom. <laughs> no. That's the consequence. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alrighty. What is our Curious Q? Yep. Oh, yes. Our Curious Q comes um, from our dear friend, Brooke. Um, and this was just friends chatting. But I thought it'd be an interesting one to bring up, just in case anyone has some decent ideas. Um, her daughter's having a birthday. And uh, they want it to be like Hocus Pocus slash Stranger Things themed. 
And so she was wanting like kind of snack and food ideas for said thing. I'd sent her links from um, some of Jen's posts from our blog because um, she had done a couple that were uh, Hocus Pocus specific. And I think she did one for Stranger Things. However, some of those get a little adulty because there's this alcoholic beverages within them because we'd like to drink. But um, and said birthday will be for a 13 year old. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was wondering if anyone has any ideas that we can partake um, and share. I don't even know if Book's here. She might not be, but I'll share with her later. Is she here? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. James, so what do you our, think? Our shout outs are I think outside. I would do like some kind of like a pastry with a uh, candy eyeball on it and like take frosting and make stitches on it and boom you got Winifred's spell book I like it I like yes. it very much yes. for stranger things you could uh try to recreate snacks and foods that were popular during that area or era yeah <laughs> the area area <laughs> like straight out of Hawkins <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. You said that is actually <laughs> really good. <laughs> you can make I a like surfer it. boy pizza. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Definitely get Argyle involved there. <laughs> I'm not sure how they feel about pineapple on pizza. You can actually call the surfer boy pizza number and listen to Argyle give you a whole spiel. It's quite lovely. I <laughs> highly suggest doing it if you haven't already. Nice. I'll have to tell her that. I'm sure her kids. That's beautiful. That. It is. Um, I'd had a kind of a a thought inspired by uh, Truffle Cottage, our good friends over at Truffle Cottage. Um, if you guys haven't gone to see their latest Stranger Things uh, chocolate collection, please do. Um, they had a fantabulous concoction that has proved to be quite popular at the cons and I desperately want to try it. So I hope that they're at a con that I'm at soon. Um, they've combined flaming hot Cheetos with dark chocolate. So it's a candy bar with flaming hot Cheetos on the inside. And they have that one. I believe I can't remember how they named them, but they have three chocolate bars inspired by stranger things. One has the flaming hot Cheeto. One just has potato chips, and one some, is something else with white chocolate. I can't remember. But all of these are uh, chocolate coated, so you get that salty, spicy, and sweet, and it sounds amazing. Hmm. But I'm also a weirdo, so I don't know. That may not be everyone's cup of tea, but a lot of people have tried them at the cons, and they are all swearing by it. So I fully trust. The taste buds of uh, truffle cottage. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm on the last legs of my stash, but I have my. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have my Star Wars chocolate left. Um, nice. They do some really great molds for all the different fandoms, mm -hmm. and they cover the a big swath of fandoms from Ghibli to DC to Marvel to. Um, Star Wars, Disney, yeah. Sherlock, Doctor Who, Supernatural, all of it. So go go nuts. Um, they're they're really great people. And um, if you go to thetrufflecottage.com. I'm waiting for like a gay men collection. If they do like oh, fan man fun. related stuff and good omen stuff, I need to email yes. her. Yes. Because there's money in there. Mm-hmm. If I can get like a fluffy white truffle situation going on for Aziraphale <laughs> <laughs> and then like something completely dark and spicy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Which, that'd uh, be perfect. I, mm. I just, I, this is what I want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go but reach out to, to Jenny. I'm sure she'll. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure gonna... she'll. She's going to be like, do you know how many ideas I have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway. All right. Well, I will share with um, Brooke on uh, any ideas 
that anyone else might want to throw in the chats. But I think those were good jams. I think um, I think her the, her first pick was Hocus Pocus, but um, her daughter likes all the creepy stuff, so she's a cool kid. Yeah, right, I need guys. jams to be hired for party planning. I feel like she. I know. It. <laughs> it's a whole thing. It is a whole. You can, you thing. can help us party plan. Sounds good to me. We'll have a big like NC party. And just <clears throat> have all the foods and all the decorations. Decorations. All right, let's move on to our dindis. If this will do what I want it to do. Da -da -na -na -da -na -na -da -na 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 now it's turned into like Beach Boy surf music, which is weird. <laughs> anyway, I went from like ragtime to like beach music, <laughs> like 60s beach music. That's how my brain works. On Gatorade. <laughs> Funny it's thing is, I don't, even, got open. I don't even drink Gatorade. And now I'm like suddenly craving it, which is weird. So, I don't know what's this space situation. <laughs> it's because of the Gatorade. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I didn't really have much to talk about this week, but I did finally get my tattoo that I've been wanting to get for a while. I took my... Um, paw print impressions that I have um, from when Bob and Dimitri both passed away and I brought them to the tattoo shop for my birthday. I got this done the day after my birthday and yeah, he did this, this lovely tattoo for me. I told him I wanted to capture all those little wrinkles in their paw prints and basically make it look like they stepped into ink and stepped on my leg and I think he did a really good job I'm very happy with it it does look really yeah, the, good the textures in it are just so special they look so soft like you could like touch yeah. them you like you can feel their paw prints sweet it's amazing how tiny Bob's paw is next to Dimitri's yeah <laughs> You're right. He was the such a little difference. old man. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on your calf or on the front of your leg? Um, on my calf. Okay. Originally, I was going to do it lower down on my ankle, but I had a scab that he wanted to avoid. So I was like, <laughs> we could do it a little higher up. That's fine. And I actually really like it there instead. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's it's a good place. very sweet. Yes. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, if you follow me on Twitter or honestly on any social media channel, I've been boring everyone to fuck <laughs> with <laughs> this journey of this damn painting. Um, I mean, I, I don't paint as often as I would like to. And ideally, if I could do anything in the world and get paid for it, I would just sit and paint. Uh, but alas, uh, I don't want to be poor. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I taken a film photograph of uh, one of my oldest friends um, who I recently had an epiphany uh, with two of my uh dearest friends that uh we've we will be we will have been friends for 25 years in the next few months which made us feel extremely old <laughs> <laughs> but um alas it also calls for a girl's road trip so um this is one of them when she was uh pregnant with her baby girl and her first birthday was yesterday because that was Sunday. <laughs> yes, that's how time works. <laughs> um, and uh, so I gave it to her then, and um, she happily put it up um, in her kitchen, 
or I had initially envisioned it actually. So that was that was kind of cool. But yeah, so it was it was just fun to spend a couple of days painting this. Um, this took me the entire binging of Cobra Kai, an episode of Dragons, and an episode of She-Hulk to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I That's love I this unit of measurement by like <laughs> yes. shows that you're watching. <laughs> so I had them going on in the background while I was wrapping this up. But that's how long it took me. I still need a math to actually know how long it took me so that I can calculate that <laughs> for future. But um, yeah, so. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, I like the colors that you chose. She was. She just happened to be wearing those um those colors, which is why I initially took the photograph. Um, and then I just changed some stuff in the environment. Um, but yeah, she, that's that's what she was wearing on the day. So cool. Yep. She has good taste in colors of clothing. I like that green. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. quite fashionable. The green and the purple turban situation is quite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I She's don't know. A there's something girl like me, so yeah. There's something Elizabeth Taylor about it that I. It is was... right. <laughs> it's quite glam. Thing. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So the <laughs> these silly fucks. <laughs> um. So <laughs> Ryan in true fashion, uh, Ryan Reynolds, that is, is there any other Ryan? Um, <laughs> and and Rob McElhenney, I mean, you know, details. And uh, Rob McElhenney um, got colonoscopies because both of them are 45 and that's when the test needs to be done. And they decided to film the process in order to prompt and motivate other guys to get them done. Mm -hmm. um obviously they had to make it into a competition <laughs> as far as to uh, who had more polyps <laughs> um <laughs> and <laughs> so on and so forth um, no spoilers you have to go and watch no. it yes absolutely <laughs> uh but as it turns out the um I think one of the, the main points, and they, they didn't necessarily touch on it in the video, but we've actually talked about it in the past because of Chadwick, um, which, I, I, if I remember correctly, Chadwick was diagnosed at, or, or was earlier than 45. I think it might have been like 44 or something, 43 either way um it is more likely for a person of color to have colon cancer and earlier than the required age for monitoring it is covered by insurance and it is recommended at 45 for people how and unfortunately the insurance doesn't cover it if you want to do it earlier however it is highly encouraged that people of color get it done earlier um, but, uh, but yeah, either way, if you get to that threshold, um, it is definitely a good idea to get the tests done. Um, and yeah, but I, I highly recommend at least watching the video because it is fucking hysterical. I mean, it's the two of them. They're absolutely silly, but, um, and it, it's a, it's a relatively, you know, painless and, um, not complex procedure. And, uh, yeah. So, if you want to find out who had polyps, <laughs> check it out. Yeah. it's. I think it's incredibly important that if you do have family history, that you talk to your doctor to see if you can get them earlier. Um, like Ronnie mentioned, Chad was years before he would have qualified for a regular colonoscopy. Um, yep. and there are so, there's just more and more cases of people that I've known personally, um, that have been diagnosed early. I mean, like in their thirties early. So, yep. um, 
don't ignore your bodies go go talk to your your family doctors about your family history and um, make sure that you're getting the right tests at the right ages and if you need to get them earlier you got to advocate for your own health there are talks with them wanting to move the um age up uh because i think a, a lot of what they're seeing is um obviously our food and the environment is not really conducive <laughs> to the healthiest of bowels so um they should consider moving it up to at least 40 for everyone but we'll see because there's a whole fucking process um to get all that kind of shit approved but um but yeah uh speaking of ryan we just got a raid earlier um by deadpool Did we? Mm-hmm. yes oh. thank you thank you richard for the for the raid we haven't sung the raid song in so long i don't remember it give me one second let me see if i can pull up some lyrics but thank you Jeff everyone who, it. Do you remember who it? came over <laughs> on the raid um Hello, uh, let's see. Hello, Karate Art. Oh Thank my you for gosh, we're being friends. friends. We're so oh, happy. Everyone is doing something. Um, everyone is something, something. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at all these human beings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone is yelling things. Look at all these human beings. Oh my gosh, okay. we're being great. We Where is my snack, Ojen? And Deadpool. They ate it. Having you is such a dream. Welcome to the stream. Yay! <laughs> if you are not following Deadpool, please give Deadpool a follow. Um, our bot shouted them out. So just follow that link and give them a follow. Thank you, Richard. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And go eat all the foods. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Okie dokes. Not that we can speak for Ryan Reynolds, but Ryan approves too. Anyhow. <laughs> it <was> great timing. <laughs> it is great timing. It's like, oh look, Deadpool's here. Yeah. Oh look, we're talking about Ryan. It was meant to be. <laughs> Ryan and his polyps. <laughs> Ryan and his polyps. Yes. Go get tested. <laughs> Um, and and to our to our fellow lady nerds out there, um, get get your mammograms to um, October both, is yeah, breast I got a cancer. couple years for that. Yeah, October is Breast Cancer <laughs> Awareness Month, and that's coming up soon. So it's all related. <laughs> this is our PSA for today. <laughs> Go I'm get checked, guys. Forward. Go get the booby pancake. <laughs> yeah, booby pancakes. I'm sure everyone. I'm not looking forward to it. Everyone that you know <laughs> logged in for this stream, we're really excited about Gatorade and uh, booby pancakes. Booby pancakes. And, <laughs> and yeah, that's that's what you sign up for when you listen to our stream. Um, hit that follow button with caution. Yep. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There's a warning. We should have like an automatic warning when you hit the follow button. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> You're absolutely positive. Yeah. This is the only time you actually want to be positive, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a COVID joke? Oh. <laughs> well, that's a downer. Okay, moving on. Um, oh, oh, yes. My <laughs> discovery and distractions. Um, I have quite a few. So I've been on a Netflix binge fest for some odd reason. I'm just playing it in the background while I'm doing work and chores and and what have you. Um, And I totally forgot that this reboot of, um, (coughs) excuse me. Oh, I got something in my throat. Um, This reboot of Iron Chef happened on Netflix. Um, It's Iron Chef Quest for an Iron Legend. all the theatrics are back. New cast of Iron Chefs, as you can see on the screen. Um, Curtis Stone, Marcus Samuelson, Dominique Crenn, Gabriella Camara, and Ming Tsai. 
great chefs all across the board. Um, Alton Brown returns as the host. Alongside him is Kristen Kish, who is also a um, chef in the professional chef community. Um, and Mark Dacascus is back as the chairman. So lots of theatrics, new challengers. Um, they have this interesting format where the highest scoring challenger who defeats um, one of the Iron Chefs goes on in the finale to go up against all five of the Iron Chefs um, in the quest for the title of Iron Legend, which is in the title of the show. So no no spoilers. Check it out. I was really thrilled to see um, a familiar face uh, be a challenger, Chef Esther Choi, who's episode number two. Um, I absolutely adore her. She, I, I was first initially introduced to her on Epicurious's YouTube channel. She is a guest chef um, in their series um, where they pit a home cook versus a, um, well, they don't really pit against each other, but they, they have a home cook and a professional chef swap ingredients and see what they can do with those ingredients for a particular dish and it's super fun to watch so i was i was very surprised to see esther show up and i was really happy that she got to be a part of this show so if you're a big foodie and you like dramatic kitchen action <laughs> this is this is your show Also, the Lady Iron Chefs, no spoilers, are so badass. They're just so badass. Mm -hmm. Okay, going down the Netflix train, I have been watching a lot of rom-coms. I mean, just a, a stupid amount of rom-coms. <laughs> um, and I think they're all pretty formulaic for the most part, but when I'm in a mood for them, I just think that they're all just fantastic. This one stood out to me. Um, it's called The Broken Hearts Gallery. It was released in theaters um, in the middle of the pandemic in 2020. Um, it was, oh. fun fact, produced by Selena Gomez, which I didn't know until much after I watched the, sh <laughs> watched the movie. Um, oh. I really want to give a shout out to... Um, Geraldine Viswathanathan, who plays the lead role Lucy, she is spectacular. I think she is just an absolute star, and she really carries the film, and she's just super funny, and I absolutely love her. Um, the remainder of the cast includes um, Philippa Sue, Molly Gordon. It's set in New York, so we've got a lot of... Um, Broadway veterans in this movie um, and the incredibly wonderful and hilarious and charming Bernadette Peters is in it as um, as Lucy the main character's boss so um, there were moments all... in this movie that surprised me which is great for a movie that's supposed to be formulaic so it, it was a really fun um, rom-com is that old boy from Stranger Things Yes, that's Jacob Montgomery. The funny uh -huh. thing is, the two of them have very convincing American accents, and I didn't even know Geraldine was Australian until I watched an interview with her, and I was like, "Hold a sec, hold up a second. Oh, they're how both are Australian. Speak yeah, they're both Australian. I'm like, how are you speaking with like the most Aussie accent when you were just so American in this movie? Mm -hmm. She's a great actress. Interesting. Right. They're they're both lovely and they just have really great chemistry and um I'm always up for <clears throat> excuse me I'm always up for uh, South Asian representation in rom coms because they're just super fun. <laughs> also, I like Philippa and she was hilarious in this too and I don't think she gets to flex her comedic chops often so check out the Broken Hearts Gallery. And then my bonus is, um, I haven't really talked about music in a while, I don't think, and my favorite um, K-pop girl, girl group, um, Mamamoo, the individual members of the group released a bunch of different music in the last little while. Um, 
and so and they're very like summer boppy pop songs so if you're in the mood for just some really like road trippy type music um solar and moonbule um released a song called better and hwasa teamed up with loco to release somebody so those are two tracks that you can put on your summer the end of summer beginning of autumn playlist because you can go on a really fun autumn road trip that is still a thing so yeah check out those two songs the best way to go leave peeping leave peeping mm-hmm. you said leaf peeping right i need to do that yes i said leaf peeping what do you okay. think she said <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i've got cotton in my ears uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 So yeah. That's it from me. Nice. Well. Um again, you will get all of the links to all of said uh fucking fights. <laughs> Ronnie's our done newsletter. I have so grand <laughs> right now. I'm so done. Because uh, it's Thursday in my head. It's been four days in 24 hours. It's great. <laughs> Happy um, Thursday, everybody. I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't do that. You're going to confuse people. You're going to wake up tomorrow <laughs> thinking it's right. They're going to uh, be like, wait, what's happening? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's still Tuesday tomorrow. We don't have that kind of power. If we did, it'd be Friday every day. Anyway, um, yeah, so you'll get your Curious Bites from uh, this week and last week in this week's newsletter. <laughs> Jesus. So make sure you subscribe, pimp out that subscription. Um, let's get other folks to subscribe to the newsletter. We will not, I repeat, we will not spam your email because bitches don't have time. I only send out one newsletter a week and it's just recapping our links in case anyone wants to be nosy and click on them. <laughs> but that's about it. So uh, please do consider subscribing. Um, nosy. Me. Yeah. I'm nosy. We're all nosy. I mean, might as well just own it, you know? <laughs> um, do we have any shout outs? Oh, spotlight shoutouts. I'm trying to think. Yes. Boy, I thought I had something. Listen and watch the stream as we sit in silence trying to figure out <laughs> why we can't. I'm gonna shout this. out I'm going to shout out my hubby and his channel, King of Sloth Style, because he just got a new camera. So he's finally going to be showing his face in his stream. So if any of you are interested in seeing what the sloth man looks like, <laughs> head on the over to his channel. Man. The male floating head, you say? <laughs> yes, the yes. male floating head. Wow. That's Good impressive. for him. Fancy camera. I'm excited. <laughs> will will the yams be making cameos? Um, probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much to Jamie. my chagrin. Jamie's like, uh, I will inevitably be forced. <laughs> Mowage. Mowage. <laughs> Mowage. Um, shout out to Mandy <laughs> Patinkin for being awesome. <laughs> Oh my god, stop! <laughs> uh, that completely destroyed me yesterday. Yeah. Um, if anyone... Go, yes, go follow the Patinkin on all the social medias. He is a, just, he is a precious, a cry, precious guy. There's a... It's not from yesterday, it's not from today, it's probably from two or three days ago, uh, but there was a post of a young lady that sent a message via TikTok she didn't have any hopes that he would see it, um, but um, his son was found it and uh, showed it to to him and his wife, and it's just 
the most emotional thing and just some insider information on Inigo Montoya and his iconic line and what Mandy was personally going through when he said iconic line. And I audibly just sobbed. I just wasn't, I wasn't ready for it. So um, worth a, worth a viewing. Of Bring the tissues. Wholesome sweetness. But uh, yeah, Mandy's a Mandy's is a great channel on on any social media platform to follow for just wholesomeness. There's just a lot of wholesomeness that just spews out of that man and his wife. It's just it's just great. It's a good cleansing for your social media. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's an excellent shout out, Rach. Good job. Yeah. I was gonna have a shout out, but mine was a of a much darker persuasion, so I shall I shan't. You can save it. We will for... end with the Potinkin. <laughs> you can you can save the darker stuff for our our um, our Saturday streams for spooky season. Sure. <laughs> what do we have sure. coming up this Saturday, Ronnie? Oh, what the hell is it? That yeah, that's a good that's a good fucking question, Rachel. <laughs> Because we are, uh, we plan and we're prepared and we know what day it is and we're just <laughs> professional. Yeah. Yeah. No, we actually did have um, it written down, luckily. We have our entire uh, calendar booked up for the rest of the month for spooky season. But since it is our last Saturday, it is our last Saturday for September, right? <laughs> um, that is correct, right? Yes. We barely know okay. what day it is. So I, sure. Okay. Yes. So um, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that the last episode of September will be uh, our last episode of Spooky Light, as we like to call it, before we Pre transition the into pre -spooks. the pre spooks. Yes, because this is actually a weekend that Janine is available, so we're gonna be, all four of us are gonna be on, and we're gonna be doing some crafting, and she's going to be baking for us, um, live on the stream. So uh, this is a whole, it's a whole thing. I don't necessarily know what the rest of us are going to be fucking doing yet, but we'll be making spooky stuff. So, but spooky light, <laughs> as we're still calling it, because, yes. you know, Janine yeah. can't handle the really, really heavy, dark stuff. So we got to, we got to keep it light. This is why Freddy looks the way he does here. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, well, it's still dark, but I, I, I do, I do enjoy this, this photo. <laughs> This is um, so. spooky Broadway. Yeah, spooky jazz. Sp spooky jazz. That's that spooky boy band. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, that's what's happening on Saturday, five p.m. Pacific. Here, don't miss it. So that was a very like ASMR voice that you just did. What was it? Yeah. Hmm, that won't last. I can't stay consistent with my voice theatrics. I just kind of go all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, who are we rating, yo? Uh, I think we're going to kick things over to the average nerds since Dave popped in earlier this stream. Oh, nice. So let's let's go share some love with the average nerd podcast. It looks like they are in the middle of what used to be called Mariah Mondays, but I think it's just now. Um, a Devo. T T R T R L. their own version of TRL, where you get to request different um, musics, and they will they will put it, your name and your requests in a queue. Um, well, it specifically says Divas. Ooh, Divas. Oh, well, let's get our mm. Diva on. Yes. I will so, promptly join um, you. <laughs> I will drop the raid messages in the chat. I'm not sure why our bot is spamming things three times instead of just once. So if you do grade. see... Because we, we told people we weren't going to spam them. <laughs> and so it's our bot bad. decided that they're going to spam instead. <laughs> ha -ha, so I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you weren't going to spam people. <laughs> <laughs> I have other plans Let's for see. you. Um. So yeah. Let's raid over words. All right, let's start this raid. <laughs> if you're a subscriber, copy that first message. If you're not, copy the second one. You're good. Yeah. That's or great. the fourth, or the fifth, or the sixth, or however many versions of it you see. I don't know. Um, yes, we are at Nerd Curious all over the damn place. Make sure you're following us. So we're mostly on Twitter. Uh, a reminder our next stream is on Saturday. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, 
Until then, if you have to go out, please remember to continue wearing your masks. Get vaccinated if you can. Get that booster when it's available. Don't be a dick. And stay curious. And don't shit on other people's rainbows. Bye, everybody. <laughs> go share the love over at the Average Joy Podcast. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. End screen. End screen. Whoa. Whoa. That's not the end screen. (laughs) (laughs) This is so smooth.